All right, watch this video. The music you have just watched was actually sung by Chris Brown featuring the video. The question you might actually be having in mind right now would be like, are you now reviewing music on this particular channel? And the answer is no. The reason why we are here is just to create something like this. So your ability to actually look at a particular data and have it extracted, use it and create visualization to bring more understanding to the platform is actually what makes you a data analyst. So after three days of this music being released on YouTube, it got over 13,000 comments. And when I scrolled through the comment section, I was wow. So I felt like I should do something about it. But now I don't have access to the login and for me to get to the back end will be very, very cumbersome. So what I did was to actually get the Google API or YouTube API to actually extract the comment from here. So I'm just going to show you how all that could actually be done today so you can extract the data you want from here and have it used to create something just like this. Let us scroll through the comment section and let us look at what it is that you would find. So can you think of anything? Can you find people with multiple comments? So can you tell how many times people mentioned Chris Brown in the comment section or how many times people mentioned the video in the comment section? None of this can actually be deduced from just scrolling through this particular data, right? That is nice, no problem. So let us scrap the data. And when we scrap the data, we're going to have something like this on my screen. So the question I've asked right before now would be answered with this particular dashboard. So if you look at here right now, we have this giant one to be some kind of people who never wrote on their comment. Uh, mentioning David Doe or Chris Brown, while this one is actually people who actually included Chris Brown in their comment and people who included the video in their comment. So this shows the artist's popularity. And over here, we're talking about the genre of the music combined together to make the hit, which is the Afrobeat from Nigeria and Ama Piano from South Africa. And this one are people who never mentioned either of the music type that is being combined together. So next is for we to look at people who leave more than one comment. Yes, I mean it. People who leave more than one comment. And you can see this person left more than 20 comments. And we want to know what this person is talking about all through this particular 20 times. So when we actually hover over this person's comment, it's going to give us a drill through that can actually take us to the comment he or she had made. So over here, you can see it based on time and date. And this is crazy. So can you now see what I'm talking about when I talk about you extracting data from a platform and actually bring insight out of the data and make it much more reasonable than just scrolling through the comment section? So previously before now, we had actually created this particular dashboard on this particular channel, which is this. So if you want to take a look at it, just go ahead and click on the link in this particular video description box and watch it from A to Z on how I got it created. For those of you who have created it, in case you want to actually have it updated, let me show you how you can actually update it. So now let's go to our browser. Here is the previous data set we have used to actually got this one here created. So we need to update it. Let's go to YouTube. Right here on YouTube, you have to make sure you actually search for Chris Brown featuring David Doe, which is this very one here. And that will definitely take you to the official YouTube channel of Chris Brown himself. And over here, we have 7.2 as of this particular time of the recording. And you can see we have over 15,000 comments right now, higher than the previous one we have actually used to actually got this dashboard created. So now we need to get this particular data. So all you have to do is to actually open a Google Sheet and make sure you actually do exactly what I've done right here. This impute is compulsory. So type video ID, and this video ID has to do with what we have right here. This is the ID that is used to identify this particular video to be different from any other video that would be uploaded or the videos that had been uploaded previously before now. So once you have actually copied it, you paste it right in here, you have done the justification. So you click on extension and you click on this particular apps 
scripts and it will open this up for you. So you're going to actually copy the script, which is the API and paste it right in this particular part right here. Let me show you. So here is the API. Inside the API here, you have this particular input. That was why we named that sheet as an input because it will definitely go into the input sheet and go through the URL and actually extract the name, the comment, the time, like, reply, unlike, and re uh, reply author, and all of that for you. So once that is done, maybe once the execution is completed, all you have to do is for you to go back to this particular sheet. Then you can see it's gonna actually add a new sheet for you and it will extract all the comments right in here. The time, the date, every single thing you need to know will be added right here. So I have shown you guys how to actually get it done in the previous video and I believe it's not something new to you. So we have just gotten a new data set right now. We need to go ahead and update the previous one. So how do we get the data out of here? Click on file. So from file, you click on what? You click on download and you click on CSV. So it has been downloaded. We go ahead and have it opened. Okay, here it is. It has been opened here. The next thing you have to do is to actually copy. So to copy, don't copy the header. Here is the header. Just copy and exclude the header from it. So I'm just going to copy this right now. So now we just did Ctrl C to actually have it copied down to the last row. So we need to actually open the previous one we have actually used, which I have actually already opened. So over here, we have this one that is actually already connected to our Power BI. So we have to replace it with this one. So what you have to do, you have to exclude the header while doing the replacement because we did not copy the header as part of it. So we click over here and we just do Control V to replace this particular one with the new data we just actually brought in. So which is something very simple. So the next thing you have to do is to do Control S to save it. That is all you have to do. Right now, we are ready to go to Power BI and have it refreshed. So right here on Power BI desktop, so you can actually go ahead and let some kind of get this showed up very well. So you can see over here we have we have refresh button. So click on the refresh button and look at the magic. So as you can see, it has been updated successfully. So now we have 16,000 comments. It's not up to 16,000 comments. If I actually click on it right now and stretch it out, nothing happens. But what happens if I go over here and go over to call out value, then we scroll all the way down. Instead of we displaying auto, we can say none. Then we can say 15,889. This is exactly what it is. And we now have 81,000, you know, um, total likes and comment and 13.03 uh, percentage of likes on comments. This is what it is. Everything here has changed and you can see the spike right here is kind of crazy. As you can see, we have actually gotten our dashboard updated with the new data and it has given us over 15,000 comments and we have seen more insight. So you can do this to any uh, YouTube channel of your choice, scrap their data, analyze it and all of that. So you might not present it to the owner of the channel, but that will definitely help you to learn something new. So now in case you have never heard of API before or Google API or YouTube API to scrap data, now you have actually heard of it and you have used it. It's not more news to you again. So this is exactly what you should actually be doing. Try to find a way into doing something you had never done before. I'm gonna tell you first time that I had never done this before, but when the time comes, I had to do my research to make sure I am able to extract the data. And it worked for me 100% and it has worked for you right now. So if it did work for you, please leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you feel about this particular video. I still remain Ismaila Omeza at the moment. So thanks for watching and I will be seeing you in the next video.